Nice. We made it. I can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's going to destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, Voga. the system is going to be That's feeling the, the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez, Kai, whatever it is. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back, until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Nar Shaddaa, to that safe Whoa. house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. Wise. What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. How... I think your gift is useless. How did you get on my ship? I'm afraid I do not understand what you mean. Tell me about the droid. As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. Of course. Uh, how do I know it won't try to kill me? I cannot harm you. You are the key to saving the Republic. Pray that you do not prove yourself otherwise. Goto has joined your party. A special powers of droids and cannot set off mines. Uh, thanks to the droid, Goto. Let's get into Nar Shaddaa. Okay, that's, this is all very weird. So he tries to kill us, holds us captive. And then says, oh, here's a joy so, for goodwill. you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shaddaa. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. Why did Kavar think I would return from exile? I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you. Or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain. But so many of them are gone now. As you no doubt know. Why me? Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. I have some questions I want answered. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. Where are all the Jedi? They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Plan? Yes. He felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Atris is on Telos. Atris? But I had thought she had gone to Qatar with the others. You sound surprised. Yes, she holds the last of the Jedi teachings. It is good she survived. I had other questions. What I can tell you, I will. What happened to them? Uh, I need to know why you cast me out of the Order. Why are you on Nar Shaddaa? I had thought perhaps that here upon the Smuggler's Moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we faced. The bounties on Jedi and their disappearance. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. And the strong currents of life here on Nar Shaddaa make perceiving a Force user difficult. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch without being discovered. I had other questions. Very well. Uh, what happened to them? It is a long story, but there is no harm in you knowing. And someone should know. Only a handful of us remained after the Jedi Civil War. Barely a hundred in number. Then, even that hundred began to vanish, in places where the Force seemed blind. The only pattern we determined is that when Jedi gathered, they were seen no more. At the last Jedi Conclave on the Miraluka world of Qatar, 
The entire planet was wiped out, an entire race destroyed, because the Jedi chose to gather there. It was only then that we realized we were facing something far more powerful than we knew how to fight. Is that why you hid? We could not allow the fact that when we gathered, we placed everything around us at risk. A Jedi's life <coughs> is sacrifice, but we cannot allow our presence or actions to endanger others. And we cannot fight an enemy that will not reveal itself. But any Jedi, anyone who was strong in the Force, who attempted to track down such a threat, vanished without a trace. That makes no sense. It does. But you must step back to see it. Whatever this threat was, it was targeting us and everything around us. Yet it was somehow weak enough that it was afraid to confront us openly. If it believed us defeated, then perhaps it would finally show itself. It was a faint hope, but it was the best we had. It was Kavar's plan. He was always the greatest tactician among us, and had seen war more than the rest of us. I had other questions. Very well. Uh, at the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something had happened to me. What was it? Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no answer for you, as much as I would like to give one. We vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi... I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. I'm hearing a lot about this Kavar guy. We really need to find this Very guy. Well. Alright, what else did I haven't asked him? Uh, why are you under star? We asked. I need to know why you cast me out of the order. They're probably gonna get the same response we just had, but let's do it anyway. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war. But you ask because you are not certain of that answer. Nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order. Because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled. And if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. I had other questions. Very well. Why are you on Ur Shaddaa? Why did you cut me off from the forest at the end of that trial? Why did you cut me off from the forest? Is that what you think? We did no such thing, but it is a technique that has been used as punishment in the past, yes. It is a rare sentence, and to my knowledge it has only been done once, at a moment where a Jedi discipline has failed. What caused your loss, I fear, was different. I am not certain I understand it. We did not understand it fully then, and only recently do I feel we may have become enlightened. The other masters may have more knowledge of this, but I do not. And I do not know if they even mm. live. Does it matter? It seems your power has returned. Perhaps the loss was not a loss at all. I had other questions. Very well. Um, do you know anything of force bonds and how to end them? Yes, such bonds are a connection that can be formed at moments of crisis or in the slow understanding that grows between master and apprentice. It is most common between two beings who are sensitive to the Force. It allows the transmission of feelings, of influence. It was something you were gifted with, as I recall, before your fall. You form such attachments easier than most, even to those who could feel the Force only faintly. Even Vrook could not ignore it, which is saying something. Is there any way to remove such a bond? I do not know. A bond between two living beings is not something easily broken. It is not a choice. It is like breaking a feeling. Like turning away from the Force. To break a bond, your feelings would have to change. Or one of you would have to die. But even then, the bond wouldn't go away. It would simply... It would simply be empty. A wound. I had other questions. Very well. Uh... I've heard enough. Prepare to die. Whoa. That's a dramatic turn. Uh, let me just skip through all this. That is all I wish to know. What happens now? Wait. Yeah, that is all I wish to know. What happens now? Now. Now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. 
This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. So you blame them? No, no. They were not to blame. But many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time. A time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the Council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. I don't want to kill him. Uh, no, letting you live seems more punishment. It'll serve as a lesson other Jedi. Perhaps weaken them with your doubts. I urge you to reconsider. For all the feelings of the, the failings of the Jedi, there have been so many successes. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice, and I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. Is there anything you can teach me? But we have spoken enough, I think. In words, I think, dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. This Yen form should prove appropriate. Its best use is when you are outnumbered, which I fear suits your, our predicament perfectly. You will find it easier to deflect Master Fire with this form, and it shall also guard you against critical strikes by your opponents. Kind of weird. Not sure how that's happening, but okay. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, exile. You're returning. It is good that you are back among us. Yay, we got him. Woo! Finally got Zezkai after many trials and tribulations, for sure. And the guy definitely has some regrets that he's got to confront. But, the fact that we're beginning to, to face those head-on is probably for the best. Oh, God. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Oof. Okay, okay. Recitation, and bring about the termination of hostilities. What? Come on, really? I get no break. Alright, well, let me pull out a shield here as well while I can. Uh, what will do me here? Probably, probably this. Yeah, why not? Okay. Let me pop that, and then... Do I have any... I have stun droid, but that's not much. Let me try force lightning. That might actually be pretty useful. Let's try it. Uh, barely. Okay, maybe that's a little more helpful. Alright, let's try this now. Let's finish them all. Go for it! Oh god, they're really, they're really taking up my health here. Holy shit, hold on. Okay. Where's med pack at? Where's my, where's my advanced med pack? You might want to get more. You might want to add more there. Another one. Another one. 
Alright, let's go for it. And of course my shield goes down immediately afterward. Okay. Now let's try it. Shield! Shield! Ah! There we go, we got one. I don't know what I did to deserve even more punishment. We've been through enough, I think, but that's that's fair, you know. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Shield, med pack. And let's go back to him. There we go. Alright. Med pack. There we go. Now let's go back. Let's go back to town. On the destroyed. Because you know, we haven't we haven't been punished enough by assassin droids. Alright, cool. Bio Salt Spray, HK Chassis. Hey, we got the chassis. Yay. I said, I said chassis, whatever. But we got the chassis finally. All right. All right, we have more than a few things to plug into 47 by now. Let's talk to Voga. We took care of his problem, I believe. We definitely took care of his problem. Hello. I do not see go to chain behind you and it, and it, can it be that you have not had success yet? I do not have go to here, but rest assured he will trouble you no longer. I've heard as much. I wouldn't have thought you could have so easily disposed of him. Rarely am I as impressed by a human. I believe that means we have a matter of business to discuss. My fighters have already begun their work. I open trade with Talosians. However, I believe they will be reluctant to listen to my offer should it come from me. Here, these credits should cover your expenses and a fee for services rendered. I do expect you to do what I have asked, and if you do not, you will find that you have little time to enjoy those credits. Now leave. I have grown so fond of you, I'd like you around. I got an achievement that said HUD oil. Convince Voga to sell fuel to Telos. Cool. Cool. That's. I guess that's what it means. Can I go in this room yet? Nope. Cannot. All right. So we still have a a mission to kill Go to. I guess. I can't believe that freaking droid is part of our squad. Like that's just stupid. Hold on. Let me add my companions in. Let me add in at and and then let me add in this guy. I don't even know. I don't even know the point of having that, but we did. Oh, I guess I couldn't. Okay, well, I don't know what that point of that was then. All right, well, let me check the quest log here. Let's see. Ask you to speak with Lieutenant Gren on his behalf in regards to establishing a trade agreement, sending fuel to Citadel Station. So we have to talk to Lieutenant Gren then. You encountered Zez Kyle on Nur Shaddaan, spoke with him. He agreed to meet you at the Jedi Enclave Dant Dantooine when you had united all the Jedi Masters. Uh, you have found Ida. However, if you use her now, I'll leave... You'll have to do some of the exchange guards. We'll work for fuel. Oda's his warbird is co-pilot, but needs to be sponsored by a pilot's license. Here, see, you told you would help find someone to transport them, which could be, which could be Otis. Hmm. We're not quite done here on the planet. We've still got like a few little loose ends I want to wrap up for the sake of just getting all the XP and stuff. So. Let's talk to Fossa now that we cleared out the docking situation. Maybe he can start sponsoring people. So he can sponsor the pilot that we need. You are in the Could you transport a family to Telos? What do I The mother name is Karan, she's in the refugee squad. Fine! I do What else? Do you have do you have any need for pilots? No that I uh the refugee Otis will work for you for your sponsorship. Fossa can Cool! Look at that. All right, do we have to go talk to those people? Let's see here. I don't think so. I don't think we have to talk to them. It's just intergalactic reunification. Bonus mission. I need to talk to that person then. I feel I feel like we've already done everything we could have in that little area, so we're probably they're probably good to leave now. Just assuming. So then I got to talk to, I got to talk to Lieutenant Gren about um, the fuel source. He's on the one station that's near, uh, whatever, the Citadel station, I believe. Really? More of you guys? I gotta deal with more of you guys? Unnecessary up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, fine. Make my effing day. Let's see here. Force lightning. Let's see what this does. More force lightning. One more, this should kill him. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. Oh god, I might die. Hold on. Shield. This might- I might just die from this, we'll find out here. 
Energy shield, damn it. Med pack, damn it. Med pack, damn it. Another med pack, damn it. You might need another energy shield after this, it seems. Uh, man, my, these energy shields are terrible. So let's go with that one. And it went down again. Alright, hold on. Med pack, med pack. Pop that shield, pop that shield. Oh, med pack, damn it. Alright, here we go. And we gotta pop it again. Okay, hold on. Shield, go for it. Pop that shield. Go ham on this guy. If you're not gonna miss, like an awful person. And we gotta pop the shield again, okay. But you know, why not? I just got all these supplies to use up, fam. I just got nothing but supplies to use up. Please die quickly. Please have a quicker death. Alright. Shield again. And we really used up those med packs quite quickly. Alright, go for this mother effer. Come on. Come on, kill him. I'm tired of... I'm tired of people and droids on this planet. There we go. Nice, wonderful, beautiful, perfect, awesome. Okay. This is the part where... After replenishing my health... I do save. Like, right here. Save game. Boom, bop, bing, bop, bop, boom, pow. We've almost been at this for 24 hours. Almost been doing the KOTOR for 24 hours. In game time, at least. Translates to quite a lot of episodes. Alright. Do I want to revisit the refugee sector? Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's do it. Let's visit that refugee sector. And hopefully not die. So I'm looking for Ida. I thought we already cleared up that quest. I could swear we cleared up everything in the refugee sector, but I guess not. Aha, there you are. Back again? Lutra lives. He's actually came to Narstar Look for you. Lutra's here? Uh, why can't you go ahead? The exchange him? is circling the sector like Shira. How can I deal with the exchange? Deal with the exchange? You might as well wrestle with the... Visquis. Visquis. I've dealt with a plant size problem before I handle it. Please, don't... But we've Back already again? killed Visqu... Visquis is dead. Uh-huh. Can I just lie what? to her? Well, I get dark side if I lie to her. How did you... I've been away from the Republic for a long time, and now I'm back. I'm going to start pushing things. You've given me my husband. Uh, yep. Have a short trip. Is she gonna die? Dark side! Eh, whatever. I don't give a shit. As long as we got that quest out of her log. And I got XP, so, you know. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. She's gonna be fine. She's not gonna die. Where's, where's the harm? She's gonna be fine. She's gonna live. She will live. And you know what, Kraya? Kraya told us... Not to be so nice to everybody as well, so, you know, I'm not, I don't give a shit. Alright, we're, we're good to go, though. We can totally leave this place. Where am I? I'm going the right way. Okay, good. I've had it up to here with this planet. Hey, you look like the last refugee that's here. Uh, I'll check back later, then. We're done on this planet. We're done, Nar I can't believe I'm saying that, but thank God. No, no droids on the pad? Good, good. Ain't no way droids getting close to my Ebonhawk. I wish the screen distortions would leave. It's very, very confusing. Ebon Hawk. Feels good, man. Finally be leaving the planet. <whistles> DD. I really wish the distortion would leave, but I well, guess not. Check it again. It can't be anything else. DD. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. D -re because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. DD. Well, whatever you call that thing on your head. DD. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Great excuse. Alright, we got this little probe thing to worry about. Oh, Bayodur's probe is wandering around. Doesn't quite like it. Doesn't quite know what to make of it. Immediately runs away, of course. 
It might be helpful if I made some changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. That would be a welcome improvement. My combat effectiveness could be better sustained, providing an advantageous arrangement. And my miniature counterpart would finally be able to pull his weight in a fight. Beep boop boop. Too many droids. Don't worry, go go to. Just je go to just jealous that you've got all the circuitry packed in such a small shell. Beep 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 beep. All right then, I'll work on it when we get back to the Hawk. We're on the Hawk. There, you should be able to do some quick fixes. You won't be able to perform serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. Beep boop. Bayoder's remote has been upgraded with the ability to repair the droids in the party. Cool. So if they're ever you know, together, I think they can it's time each other. I gave your cutting laser a little boost. It works fine for repairs, but we could use your help in a firefight. Beep bip. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure they keep you out of their scopes. Boop. Hey, it's something for Goto to be jealous of, right? Beep bip. Think of it this way: you can keep Goto in line with it. Beep 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 beep. Not sure how to feel about this droid. Bayer's remote has been outfitted with an improved laser. Man, Bayer's. Oh wow. If I might have a moment. What is it, Goto? I have spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are quite adequate. I am impressed with your work, though less so with your remote itself. What's wrong with my remote? I find his use of resources, energy spent on frivolous things, to be an unsightly waste. But it is obvious you have some skill, however slight, in the upgrading of machines. I want you to provide me with similar upgrades. I should be able to do something. I will see what I can do next time I have a free moment. Don't bully, Bayoder. Okay, finally, that's over. Jeez, I don't know why it gave us all those cutscenes at once. I think it's just like a trigger for when we are posted up the planet.